So this one is gonna be on Mini Tool Movie Maker, and uh, this is a uh, software to be able to um, create movies, and uh, you can also edit your videos if you like want to upload videos to YouTube or whatever. So to be able to download the software, go ahead and uh, type in Mini Tool Movie Maker, and it should be the first website, and then you can click on download. Okay, and that's it. So they also have other uh, software. Uh, so I believe there's a YouTube downloader that they have a GUI version, so you might want to check that one out. Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, so I believe by default it um, actually is on the dark mode, so to be able to change the theme, you can uh, go to uh, the hamburger menu it's all the way to the right and then just click on it and then change the skin so I, I believe it looks like this um, if you want to change it to the light version you can click on the light version whichever you prefer um, so to be able to import anything you can just click on the media over here or you can just click over here import media um, and let's see if you can actually drag and drop videos into it so let me see Uh, so no you cannot drag and drop let me see if you can copy and paste it uh, looks like you can't do that so you have to click on import media and then you have to search for it so I'm gonna go ahead and just grab something over here okay and uh, to start working with it you can just go ahead and uh, like you can import I believe you can import more than one video at a time let me make sure before I say anything so control and then uh, open uh, yeah you can import multiple videos at once so um, then all you would do is just go ahead and drag the video that you want so we can grab this one here and then just drop it in the timeline and of course you can add more um, so let's go ahead and throw the sunset in here okay to be able to add any pictures uh, actually the, uh, no it looks like no pictures so let's go ahead and import pictures so We'll go ahead and throw uh, pictures. You can actually throw them on the, I believe, on the text, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see. Uh, no, you can't. Actually, this has to go here, I guess. Yeah, it has to go on on the um, basically on the media timeline. Okay. Uh, and to be able to add text, you can just click on the text here. Okay. And for the text, you do have some cool. Uh, um, options over here you got like regular captions but you also have like uh, credits and then uh, uh, I, they're called titles uh, so let me go ahead and grab one over here okay so they're like animated text uh, it's pretty cool they, they got quite a few of those so you can actually check those out okay and as far as effects go if you click on effects over here the effects go into this uh like dividers i'm not sure what they would be called but you can actually see these little boxes that are like dotted uh, you can just go ahead and grab oh i'm sorry that's the transitions uh actually go there so if you want to transition you throw it right there okay and uh, it'll go ahead and uh, put the transition also another thing the needle uh like if i click anywhere over here okay so it looks like if you click on the what do you call it on the image or the video it's gonna grab the needle and start from the beginning but you can't like put it in the middle you have to actually grab it and then drag it so, so uh, to be able to cut or split videos and images you can just go ahead and click on this little scissor here or you can click over here uh, and then that should split the video or the image okay uh, and they got a bunch of um, transitions in here like you can use so as you can see they have a ton of different uh, transitions and they actually uh, it's a lot of very cool ones and if you click on it it'll give you like uh, basically like a preview ok 
okay so i'm gonna grab this one and just throw it in here and as far as for the effects the effects you just throw it on the image uh, i'm sorry on the videos so they also have a ton of different effects and they're actually uh, pretty cool so let's go ahead and check out the threshold and see what it looks like so it looks like uh, kind of like black and white but it's like almost like really dark so let's try it out just gonna throw it in here and then there we go so as you see it's got that cool effect um, and I believe you can click on it and then go to edit like you right uh, left click on it and then click on edit and then here you can mess uh, with the video a little bit like with the contrast and whatnot saturation and the brightness of course since it's uh, black and white it's not really doing anything but if I uh, click on this one and I mess with it this might be more uh, no not that noticeable on this one okay there we go yeah okay over here you can actually click on this and then you got quite a few in here so uh, you can check out like if you go with cool film it looks kind of blue um, and they got quite a few in here uh, Sparta 300 let's see uh, okay um, okay and as far as the text goes we can actually uh, let me click on this here we can mess with the text over here so we can align it we can uh, we can choose the fonts they have a bunch of font options Okay, uh, we can also, of course, change the font size. Uh, we can definitely change the colors. And you can actually, uh, I believe you can drag these, be able to resize them by dragging. Um, but you should be able to move them. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So you can move them around. As far as the image, you can also um, edit the images as far as uh, the saturation, contrast, and brightness. And you can also add these, uh, I guess, like, I'm not sure what they're called. It says 3D LUT, uh, but they got quite a few of them. They kind of look like uh, effects to me, but uh, it says 3D LUT for some reason. Um, but you can choose some of these over here, see what, uh, what it does. So you can do that with the images. Oh, yeah, actually you can. Okay, cool. So you can actually uh, use the effects on the on the images as well. So only, uh, I believe only the text you can't actually uh, use the effects with. So so let's grab some uh, captions over here. And we're going to go ahead and throw that on top over here. Uh, you can uh, actually be able to expand it by clicking on it. And then just going towards the edge. And then once you see like this like uh, double arrow, you can just drag it. And it's gonna make it bigger okay and uh, you just click on it and click on edit and then you can edit the text here you can make it bigger just by dragging it you can move it around if you want you can actually rotate it if you want now of course you can do all the other stuff that I showed earlier such as the font uh, text color and whatnot uh, well not sure why I didn't take it okay there we go finally we're gonna go ahead and throw one of the credits at the end and this is pretty cool it kinda looks like uh, like the movies when uh, you see the end of them actually let me grab another one uh, actually, uh, is there an undo option uh, file uh, looks like there's no undo uh, okay, yeah, right here. Undo, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, look for the uh, credits. So we're gonna use, uh, let me check this one out, see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, there you go. So we'll go ahead and throw some credits at the end over here. So, all right, so now let's play it. let's go ahead and throw in a few more transitions and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and save it and then we're gonna go ahead and um, let's check out a few more over here so 
see what this looks like okay that's pretty cool so we'll go ahead and throw that in there okay and uh, see what's gonna happen so we'll move it over here and see what it looks like there we go that's pretty cool actually I like that one a lot okay so let's check out what else we got so we got clouds um, we're gonna check out the Okay, so here's another cool one. We're gonna go ahead and throw this one. It's called Doom Screen Transition. So let's go ahead and check it out, see what it looks like. All right. And we're gonna go ahead and throw one more uh, effect over here. And uh, we're gonna just use the, uh, maybe the fade grayscale at the end over here. All right, so let's see what this will do. All right, that's pretty cool. Okay, so basically, once you're done uh, with your um, movie, uh, you can actually go ahead and save it by clicking it. Uh, well, first of all, saving it, Control S, I believe that should do it, and then just save it wherever you want. Um, I think I have a specific uh, folder for it somewhere over here yeah okay so we're gonna call this one test 2 and then just save it okay so that'll save the project and then to be able to export it uh, you can click over here on export and uh, one thing I didn't cover was the templates they have templates so uh, you can actually uh, like click on one of these and uh, be able to work with it okay one thing before we uh, wrap it up um, the audio you have options to insert here at the bottom so if you uh, click on music they do have some pre-installed uh, music okay so I kinda like that one so you just drag and drop it now there's only one timeline as far as for the um, for the audio in the videos so if you want to go ahead and throw more uh, you would have to actually like throw it after this one here in the timeline so you can't create another timeline uh, and as far as th that applies the same for the uh, videos so um, for the text though you can create more so if you right click here you can add an empty track and uh, here you can actually throw more text and you can actually add another empty track and I think uh, there's only so many you can use I think three is the most as far as for the text you can't throw anything else in uh, the tracks like videos if you try to throw videos in here you can't do that so videos only go in this timeline in the media timeline audio only goes in this timeline so but text you can throw more like I said earlier you can actually throw one over here that's not a problem you can throw one over here so you have uh, three timelines for text basically okay so as far as for the audio let's check out what we can do if we click on edit over here we can uh, give it a fade in and a fade out I guess uh, let me see if I can uh, okay so one second and fade out we give it well I don't want five seconds let's do two seconds and then the volume let's uh, lower it down to maybe about let's try 10 see what it or let's do 11 see what it looks like or what it sounds like okay I didn't see any lower thirds in here um, I could be wrong there might be some in here but um, I don't think there's any so let's go ahead and export it so to be able to export it just click on export a okay, so once you click on export just give it a name so I'm gonna call it test movie okay and then the formats got quite a few formats in here you got mp4 abi uh, webm uh, mkv uh, mp3 if you want just an audio so 
got quite a few options in there. Um, one thing though, um, like it does take a while to render the video, so something to keep in mind. Uh, but the only but one thing about it is that like and the rendering of the video, the quality is like amazing. So uh, just to let you know, also gives you this option where you can actually preview what it's gonna look like. Uh, and then over here on the resolution, 19 by 1920 by 1080, but you can actually click on settings and you can change this. So under better, it's uh, it looks great, but if you want like the best, it's gonna look even more amazing. Just uh, keep in mind, it's gonna take a while. It'll take even longer. So, but if you're looking for quality, uh, as far as the rendering, you definitely want to click on this to make it look like you know amazing. So. As far as the encoders, uh, you only have this option here, but again, it, by default, it gives you like really good quality. Uh, the resolution, if you want to change that, you can actually change it. The bit rate, it does give you options up to like 80,000, I think. Yeah, so you can actually change it up to 80,000. Um, so, but just with this default one, yeah, the rendering, it, it looks great. So. Uh, let's go ahead and click OK over here. So let's go ahead and click on export. And over here it's going to show you the time that it will take uh, or that it's taking. So I believe last time I created one that it was only like 30 seconds and it took like 5 minutes. So I actually didn't do too much to it. Um, this one I did more and it's a little bit longer. So we'll see how long it takes okay so it's finished so we can go ahead and close this up or we can click on find target and it should go ahead and open up the file i believe there we go okay so it's uh called it was called test movie uh so let's go ahead and play it see what it looks like So that's it. So as you saw the quality of the rendering, it's amazing. It, just keep in mind that it will take a while. Um, for some reason, it closed up. I didn't get to see how long it, it took. I wouldn't say maybe it took about, um, probably about five minutes, something like that. So um, it's not that bad actually, um, especially because of the quality of the rendering. So, uh, but that's it. That's the uh, review on this, uh, cool software it's called mini tool movie maker and uh, this is definitely something that uh, you can uh, be able to create more advanced uh, movies or uh, videos so uh, that's it for now bye